everyone and welcome to another week of Halloween decor hunting. We are going out today. Actually, I think I'm gonna try to go out every single day this week, mainly because I feel like this is gonna be the one where we're gonna see a lot of progress in the Halloween department. And you know I wanna get first dibs. Okay, but before we get out Halloween decor hunting, I wanted to quickly mention the sponsor for today's video. And today's video is sponsored by my favorite thing ever, as many of you know, and the one thing that is getting me through summertime. This video is sponsored by Shudder. So Shudder is a streaming service that features all things spooky. So horror movies, uh, psychological thrillers, uh, spooky documentaries, all sorts of spooky content, even blockbuster hits. They also have their own Shutter exclusives like One Cut of the Dead, Tigers Are Not Afraid, Creep Show, my personal favorite, I love Revenge. I've watched Z, it's called Z, twice now because I love it so much, it's so spooky. I loved Cursed Films, which basically is a docu-series based on cursed film sets. So Shutter is $5.99 a month, or $56.99 a year, but you can try it free right now for 30 days if you go to www.shutter.com and enter promo code Jade. And then from there, you can stream unlimited spooky content from Android, iOS, Amazon Fire TV, Google Chromecast, Xbox One, and then I personally stream it from my Apple TV and love the interface. Also, my personal favorite thing about Shutter right now and all year round is the ghoul log which is instead of a yule log it's a jack-o-lantern that's all like got a flame in there blowing around and then the return of the ghoul log has like a whole other setting that's really spooky and all these things in the background so it's basically halloween all year round on shutter which is my favorite thing ever once again you can try it free for 30 days if you go to www.shutter.com and enter promo code jade and i'll have a link down in the description box for you as well anyways i'm really excited to go out halloween decor hunting all right so i'm gonna put my dogs away grab a beverage and then i'll meet you guys in the car and we're heading out we got out my phone Grabbed an allergy pill because I can't, I feel like I'm in a wind tunnel. If you have allergies, then you just know it. Okay, here we go. And we're off. It is me and Mr. Skeleton. We are off Halloween decor hunting again. It smells like a skunk. Did I run over something? Anyway, so we're gonna go to Home Goods really quick and see if they got anything new in. Then we're gonna run into that Bath and Body Works really quick. I am pretty sure they don't have the pocket back holders. They may have the bat one because I didn't even see that one released. So maybe I'll run in there and see if they have it. Um, then we're gonna run to, there was like a three, if you remember last year, if you were here, Halloween we're hunting, we did the trio where it was like, there's this little area that has Michael's, Home Goods, and Steinmart. I don't know if Steinmart has their Halloween stuff out yet, but we'll run in really quick and see. Then, oh my gosh, this is kind of a long trip. I wanted, since I was going to be out there, I kind of wanted to run to Joann's and see what Joann's has. And then, I think that's it. No, 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 that's not it. Then, today, I want to find a grocery store that has... Reese's pumpkins. Wait, are the leaves changing? I think I'm getting ahead of myself here, but it looks like some of these trees are looking yellow. Or maybe they're just dead. I don't know. I'm gonna run to Home Goods really quick first because the earlier I get there, the better. The later you wait to go to bat, uh, not Bath and Body Works, I'm sorry. Um, Home Goods, the worse off because it gets busy. Also, I just realized as I was writing the date at the bank that my anniversary, uh, me and my husband's nine year anniversary is in two days. And what's interesting is I've had some comments before and I'm not offended by it at all. Um, some people are like, oh, like that's so weird that I, I would have never have thought you would have a uh, summer wedding. So I don't really want to get depressing or anything, but there was a lot of reasons we went with August and the main one was my husband's, like my father-in-law, my future father-in-law at the time, um, had stage four lung cancer. And so we really wanted him to be there and we really like the sooner the better because it was progressing, you know? 
And so we, and my brother was getting married. Oh man, I hate when that happens when you think you're gonna get a really good parking spot and then it's like this tiny car. Dang it. Okay, anyways. Um, so, and my brother was getting married in November. So we really, like if, like before we were like, oh, we, were, we want an October wet, I mean, that's not gonna surprise anybody that we wanted an October wedding. It's so weird is the week before we got married, we went to a wedding and we were sweating so bad that my dress was soaking wet. And Dallas and I were like, oh my gosh, we are literally, this is gonna be our wedding. It actually ended up being, it was the 13th, it was a full moon and it was, it was outdoors at night, it was gorgeous, felt like fall. It was really rare that that even happens. And it was the perfect night and Dallas's dad was there. But yeah, so you're not wrong <laughs> that I wouldn't naturally pick an August wedding, but it, it was like not even, it, it wasn't even a thought. As soon as it was like, hey, what's the soonest we can really do this? Because we really want, you know, your dad here. So, All right, anyways, I'm at Home Goods. I'm gonna run in, put on my mask. All right, so I'm gonna walk down to Bath and Body Works because it's so nice out right now. I don't know what's going on, but I'm gonna walk down there because it's not that far from my car. Bath and Body Works, here we go. <sighs> All right, so I just left Home Goods and then I took a little walk down to Bath and Body Works because it is once again so nice today. I do not know what is going on with the weather this year, but. I hope it doesn't mean a really cold October is what I'm gonna put out there. I saw Halloween at Home Goods. They had a couple of things. They had a, an in cap. Okay, first of all, anything that I saw last time wasn't there. I don't know where it went. Like the plates with the skeleton heads or skulls or whatever. I mean, they weren't there. They did have skeleton plates with like a Mr. or Mrs. Skeleton looking kind of situation on it. And then they had a couple of spooky mugs. They still had some of the things we saw last time, like the white, the stemless, like thermo, therm, thermal, thermos, uh, wine glass or whatever. They had that and they had the, I think they had the Day of the Dead mug, uh, cat mug we saw last time too. But they also had one that said, like a mug that said spooky, I think it said on it. And then another one that said boo. Um, so like a couple of new mugs. Nothing that was quite my style yet. They had another really cute thing that I might have to swing back that I didn't get that I'm hoping the other home goods has. And if not, I might have to swing back around and hope it's still there. But it was a little ghost thing. And it had a it was like an it had a little opening where you can put your um your sponge, like um a, a kitchen sponge in there. Um, they also had some pillows, some Ray Dunn pillows. I guess, can I get a grande cold brew with cinnamon almond milk foam, please? Oh my gosh, the trash in this car right now. And I have a little mini trash can in here, but I think these are receipts I need to keep. Anyways, they had these Ray Dunn pillows. One of them said spooky on it. That was really cute. It had some bats on it. There were two there that said trick or treat. They were like some big square pillows that said trick or treat on it. And then the stuff that we saw last time, which wasn't much, but they're starting to put out Halloween. Every store is different, it looks like. Some stores look like they have a lot. Mine right now looks pretty sparse, but we'll run to the other one really quick and see what they have. So then I ran to Bath and Body Works and they restocked a bunch of stuff, including the pocket back holders. And I got this one that I was looking for, the little uh, pumpkin or jack-o'-lantern one that has the spooky noises. So I, I'm so excited about this. Then I got the bat one. So I got the bat one, which looks like this, but watch, watch. Oh wait, hold on, I gotta, I gotta steer. I forgot I'm driving. No, I'm waiting in line, but still, okay. So it has this, it's a bat, and then you put the pocket back in there, but then look, you can close. So then it just looks like a cute little bat with its wings closed. I didn't even know that it was like an open close situation. All right, so I'm really excited that I found those pocket back holders. All right, so now I've got my energy in a cup, not like I needed it. 
clearly. I've been talking a thousand miles a minute. So I'm gonna go run to the area that has Home Goods, Michaels, Stein Mart, and then Dollar Tree. I need to go to the grocery store. Thought about going on my way. Oh, I need to go to the grocery store because I need to look for, thanks for reminding me, you guys. I hope you were staying on the other end. Girl, you gotta go find those Reese's because, and this is what I was gonna say before I got on some tangent about my wedding in August. Um, I'm gonna get my husband some Reese's pumpkins for our anniversary and surprise him because he's Reese's obsessed. But we're just not really big celebrators of much. <laughs> We're pretty low-key laid back. Um, we'll do like little small things for anniversary or birthdays and things like that. What is that enormous thing that was a bug from hell? If anything, I'm like, you know what I want for my birthday? I want a Nacho Bel Grande and I want to stay home and watch scary movies all night. He's the same way, so I'm really grateful that we're both <laughs> like that because I don't know what I'd do. Somebody's like, we got to go do this, we got to do that. I'd be like, oh my God, I can't. Okay, I go to one party and I have to recharge for like two weeks. We gotta hide this Bath and Body Works. This is like gold right now. No, not really, but kind of. Oh wait, I wonder if the Spirit Halloween is open. Okay, I don't know if I'm gonna have enough battery life. I didn't bring my extra battery. Oh wait, do I have it though? Is it in my bag? I may have prepared for this in like a past life. <laughs> and by past life, I mean like two weeks ago. Okay, we're here. It is Michael's Home Goods, TJ Maxx, Steinmart. Okay, dude, what the hell? I didn't see one thing, unless I missed an entire section. Whoa, like Halloween is so late this year. Michael's only had spooky, wreath stuff and the spooky town that we saw last time that's it not one new thing otherwise i i don't know what's going on i checked my phone from last year and it looked like they had stuff out august 2nd is when their cups came out like they're i remember got like a tumbler so then i went to home goods and this home goods was like bare all right so i'm gonna run to dollar tree really 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 quick and then I think I'm actually gonna change the plans really quick because it's like getting to the point now where I need to get home and start editing a video that I really wanted to get out tomorrow. So, uh, which is the book review and book club needs to get out. It like needs to get out. So I'm gonna go tomorrow. I'm gonna go to the Joann's out where we went last year where it was kind of a little ways away. And there was that really, really, really good Dollar Tree. There's Wait, there's Ross right here. Should we run into Ross? Let's run in really quick and see if they have Halloween yet. All right, just got back from Ross. First of all, I have no idea where I put my lens cap. Nothing at Ross, not a thing, not one thing. So we're going to Dollar Tree. It's getting really hot too, so I'm kind of glad that I'm not extending this trip. There's a cart here, which makes me very uncomfortable, but we're gonna park here anyway. Just left Dollar Tree and they have some Halloween. They had a lot of the stuff that I saw last year. So they had like some spiders and some bats, lots of spiders, glittery spiders, and then purple spiders, black spiders, orange spiders, all different types of spiders. And then they had these bat clips that I got last year that I was wearing as hair clips and they are very cheapy and break all the time, but for a dollar, you can't beat it. So I, grabbed some more this year or what else did I see um they had some ornaments there uh just some different like eyeballs some with um spider webs some with I don't know a bat that also looks like a moon kind of um and just like a lot of random stuff like that they didn't have a lot of the decor out yet uh like the little trinkets and stuff or the signs didn't see any of that yet. I did have Halloween floral and I almost missed it. I was checking out and I was zoning out and then saw it in the like back kind of area. And I was like, oh, I gotta go look at this. So I got some good shots of the floral. They had some really cute purple floral with these little bats, like glittery bats that are kind of sticking out with some branches and stuff. They also had black roses, 
with these little uh, skulls, silver skulls. They had red roses with black skulls and some branches and I think maybe some spiders in there too. But overall, the one thing I know about the Halloween floral is if you don't get it, oh shoot, I meant to grab some fall floral. That's all they had for Halloween. So not a lot, but they did have some Halloween, so I'm not mad about it. Anyways, we're gonna go out to Joanne's tomorrow and we're gonna hope for the best. Hey everyone, it is another day. Well, the next day. We just went out yesterday. And we're out Halloween decor hunting. Um, it, this is kind of a different setup because I'm in the passenger seat because I am currently Halloween decor hunting with my husband, Dallas. Um, we're going to do a little thrifting today on top of all the things that we talked about yesterday. So we're going to this antique mall and we're hoping to find some Halloween decorations. But also, last time we went to the antique mall, we found these really cool prayer cards and also these spooky portraits. All right, so we're gonna go there first because they close early. And then uh, we're gonna go to Big Lots, which is right next door, which is perfect because I've been seeing a lot of you guys have been tagging me over on Instagram and po uh, showing me your Big Lots or even down in the comments you guys were, that kind of sounded weird, showing me your Big Lots, um, but you know what I mean. We're going to go to Joanne's after that, hopefully. Depends on how long we spend in the antique mall because let me just tell you, last time we went to the antique mall, we were there for like hours. It just... It's like a black hole in there. Um, so we're going to Joanne's after that. Then we're gonna run to Dollar Tree out here because the Dollar Tree out here, when we were out here last year, was the best Dollar Tree ever. Anyways, so we're spending our anniversary eve Halloween decor hunting, which I don't think we'd have it any other way. This is kinda cool. Hey everyone, we just left, oh, where do we go? The Antique Mall, Big Lots, and we ran into the Dollar General. Um, okay, so we did see some Halloween at the Antique Mall, but everything was very, 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 very overpriced in my opinion. Um, I'll, I'll show you some of the things we saw. We saw some like light up, like plug-in, like vintage plug-in, light up looking situations that were kind of cool. Um, but some of them, I didn't know if they worked or not. And for what they were asking for them, you would hope they work. Oh, they had these really cool little uh, Halloween trinkets that were like wax, I think they were. And they were really cool vintage little wax figurine things. And they wanted like a gajillion dollars for those. So they wanted like 50 bucks for just this little teeny tiny wax cat. It was insane. Um, then we went to Big Lots and they had a bunch of stuff out and I got video of all the stuff. They had some really cool tabletop decor. I saw the jack-o'-lanterns that we looked at online and I saw the haunted house. And the only thing about the haunted house that I have to say is it was pretty plasticky for being 25 bucks. And it wasn't black, it was like a brownish color. Oh, and I might regret not getting it, but I just, I couldn't, it wasn't that, it wasn't as cool as I thought it was gonna be. They had the um, hand towels, and they had a couple other really cute hand towels. They had really cute tablecloths. They had some spiderweb table, tablecloths. One was orange, it was really cute, with like this like lacy looking thing. Um, lots of uh, other things, like they had kind of a, I don't know, like a romantic vibe. I don't know, lots of roses with skeleton hands and skeletons and kind of that vibe. I've been seeing that a lot this year with the reds and the golds, that kind of thing. Um, saw a lot of that. Saw, like I said, some signs and some really cute little tabletop things. I'll keep showing everything that we saw. Oh, I saw, oh, the cloches or the, it's like a lantern, but it has stuff in the lantern. Those were cute. And then I saw this one thing that looked like a cloche with two skull heads stacked on top of each other. Um, and then we're at Joanne's right now. So I'm gonna run in here and then I'll tell you guys about Dollar General. Okay, hey everyone. Oh man, it was sweaty. So just left Joanne's and then we ran to Dollar Tree which is just like right down the way. We just ran in really quick. So, we're, 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 oh, we didn't talk about Dollar General. So they had some Halloween they, they were starting to put out and they had some kind of cute stuff. They had some little coffee 
cups, little, dis not disposable, reusable coffee cups that were kind of cute and spooky. They had um, some little pumpkins. I think one said double, double toil and trouble maybe or something of the sort. And then there was another one that said something else that was kind of witchy. Then they also had some like little stress balls that were kind of funny and some, I don't even remember what else they had. They had like another little sign, had confetti. I don't know if it said happy Halloween or something like that. And then behind it, it said, like it had like a little witch thing and it has like confetti in it, like a little sign or whatnot. Um, but yeah, some cute stuff. And then we went to Joann's. They had some of their bakeware, which is what they usually first start putting out. So they had some cute, spooky cookie cutters and like, like some, uh, there was like a Frankenstein, like a big Frankenstein head. And there was like a pumpkin and a bunch of stuff. Um, and then just like a bunch of little spooky sets. And then they had the little molds, the Halloween molds. They had like little witchy ones. They had like knives. They had little, just like little, like they always have little cute molds there every single year. And then they had some really cute, um, what do you call them, like cupcake tins or cupcake liners. There was one that was so cute. This little like, it was like a witch flying on a broom, which you know was my thing. And then around it, it was like purple and gold and had all these stars and little crescent moons and stuff. They had a really cute one that I really want to get once they go on sale. The, they were spider webs. Um, and then they had some spooky mugs. We saw a couple spooky mugs. They didn't have a lot going on. They just said stuff on it, like Creep It Real and wit the witches, witches Brew or something like that. But they didn't have like a lot of cool imagery on them or anything, just some words. And then they had like a taller, like tumbler looking coffee mug, which I really like because I like the bigger coffee mugs. So they did have a couple things there, but kind of disappointed that Joann's doesn't have more. Like Michael's and Joann's are just, sleeping on us. I don't know what's happening. Anyway, so then we went over to Dollar Tree and it looked promising in the window. I saw some skeletons, it looked like, dangling in the window. And we went in and it was like, it was a lot of stuff from last year. And I know they do a lot of the same stuff every year, like the spiders and skeletons and the skulls and the bones and all that kind of stuff. But usually they mix up, you know, maybe the tombstones or the signs and they have little cute signs and little, all these different things and they really didn't have any cute signs like they did last year. Um, they had a couple of things, like little dangly things that had like pumpkins and then there was one that said the witch is in. And then they had, of course, like I mentioned, the skeletons dangling, a glow in the dark one and then a regular one. And they didn't even have any floral at this one. They had a lot of fall floral, but it didn't even look like it was picked over, like, because there was not, not even like empty areas for Halloween stuff. So. They're still getting stuff out of that one too. So we did see some Halloween. Big Lots has Halloween out now. So that should be a place where you should be able to find Halloween at this point. Because now I've seen two Big Lots that are putting stuff out. And one that is almost fully stocked. Uh, Joann's is putting out their bakeware. So if you're wanting bakeware. Uh, and then Dollar General's getting stuff out. Dollar Tree's starting to put stuff out. But we've yet to see like a full on collection, I feel like. Well, maybe Big Lots was as close as we've gotten. Uh, and at home, of course, in the beginning. We're gonna try again tomorrow. All right, here one. We're back out Halloween decor hunting, me and Mr. Skeleton. What is officially me and my husband's nine year anniversary. Just, just crazy to even think about. Time flies when you're having fun. I'm not gonna lie though, I am really wiped out from yesterday Halloween decor hunting. It was so hot. And I made the worst choice ever wearing my hair down. I was like, maybe I'll just look cute and like, oh, it'll be great. I'll just wear my witchy hat, my hair down. And no, it was so hot. And it's making me so jealous of myself last week being like, oh my God, I'm wearing a jacket. Mm. I'm like, well, shut your mouth. Nobody wants to hear about your jacket. <laughs> anyway, so. It's hot, another hot day, but yesterday I think the heat got to me. I was very, 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 whew, just like worn out and I'm feeling it today too. And my husband was with us yesterday. I don't think he said anything at all <laughs> because I was jabbing my jaws. I was happy to have him with me yesterday. We did a little anniversary eve Halloween decor hunting. That's how we bond, I guess. A little Halloween decor hunting bondage. That sounded really bad. Maybe not Halloween decor bondage, but Halloween decor bonding. Bonding. Two different words. 
<laughs> oh lord okay so we're going out halloween decor hunting today and i'm going to i'm going to drive out a little ways to the home goods the fancy one we went to last year if you remember i was like oh this one's so fancy um we're gonna go to that one and see if they have anything out yet because the one that we went to the other day was a total shame um where else are we going is that it no we're gonna run into target i don't think there's anything yet at target i'm gonna run anyways to target because i have to pick up a couple things before i go home anyway and then i'm gonna go home well i don't know i thought about stopping by michael's because here's the thing i was stocking hashtags and then you guys tag me and things and i get so excited when you guys see things pop up at halloween related and you tag me but i saw on instagram the sneak peek of Michaels. So I don't know if this store, like it was like a model or somebody put it out early or what this store was or where it was or where the, what the source is or where, if, if it's fake news, I don't know. I'll tell you why I don't think it's fake news. Okay, first of all, let me just tell you what it looked like. So they showed this and I don't know if it's just like one of the lines at Michaels or if this is all they're putting out, but it's this whole, Mr. Skeleton would love this line. Let me just tell you, it's all skeletons and baby pink it's like skulls and skeleton artwork like um a skeleton bust that has all these like pink floral things coming out of it anyways let me just tell you remember if you guys are watching in the beginning when i was out halloween decor hunting i was looking for stuff and i overheard some of the workers at michael's saying like they were all working in the um the wreath aisle, which is one of the first things they put out. And I heard one worker say to the other worker, hey, did you see the Halloween? And the other worker said, yeah, Did you, what do you think of the black and pink? And I mentioned it on camera, like black and pink, what? And I didn't know what that meant. And then when we went back and looked at the wreath section, we saw that there was like, there were like skeleton hands with like baby pink flowers. And I was like, oh, this is probably what they meant by baby or by black and pink. Uh, now I am starting to second guess everything in my whole life because I'm wondering if they were talking about the whole collection now because I'm seeing this black and pink. So I think the photo is real. Anyway, that's kind of my rant about Michaels and this sneak peek. There's a stop sign. Stop writing my ass, please. Thank you. I know you're anxious to get to home goods and look at uh, Halloween too, but we have to take our turn, lady. So, okay, I'm going into home goods. We're here right now. Um, and we're gonna see if there's Halloween. I thought this lady, she's wearing a black top with orange. It, I thought it was jack-o'-lanterns, but they're not. Wishful thinking. Oh God, it's soggy. <sighs> it's another free and hot day. <laughs> so let's have a conversation about this. They're starting to put stuff out at this Home Goods, but I saw new stuff that I hadn't seen before and that I had not seen on hashtags. So I'm excited to talk about it. And I feel like there are gonna be some things I'm gonna mention and show you that you're gonna be really excited about. The first thing I saw was a little end cap that was very, very, very similar to the other Home Goods we went to where it had, you know, the skeleton, cat or the day of the dead cat looking thing oh the ceramic pumpkins like everything was pretty much set up in that little area the same as the home good we home goods we already went to and saw stuff so i was like oh man this is it like nothing else so i kept here's the thing about home goods you got to keep going around because you'll like more stuff just pops up so then i saw this other little area that had a bunch of really cute stuff that I hadn't seen before. There was like a sign that said Happy Halloween. There were, oh, these really cute candlesticks, like candelabras with spiders on them that were really cool. I think I actually saw them at the other Home Goods the other day and forgot to mention them, or did I? I can't remember, but they're like this spider candelabra things that are really cool. And then um, these radios, these vintage looking radios. If you like vintage looking stuff, in your house these were really cute they're like little vintage looking radios one was purple one was orange and then you turn it on and it's like oh 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 welcome to it all, all, all like in the dracula voice i know that's a terrible impression but you know what i mean then they had like a couple other really cute things in that area that i'm not recalling because next to that area i gave a little peek over because this girl was like really digging into the the aisle I look over and there's this whole section of these cauldrons and I couldn't get a video of it because she was literally standing right in front of the area guarding it which I don't blame her because I'm about to tell you what it is it's like a whole shelf of cauldrons 
and they're all Ray Dunn. And if you know Ray Dunn, it's like this whole thing. It's either you're crazy about Ray Dunn or you don't know and you don't really care or you know and you're not, it's not your style. For me, I know about Ray Dunn because I stock home goods quite a bit and I know the popularity with Ray Dunn. It's usually just not my style, if we're being honest. Like a lot of the stuff that I see is very like, um, what do you call it? Country farmhouse, farmhouse is a lot of the stuff that I see. I'm not, it's not really my style, but this, I don't really care what it is. If it's a cauldron, it's my style. And it, there was this, uh, it was a cauldron mug was the first thing I saw and it said boo on it. And I'll just show you the ones I got. I always wait until my Halloween decor hunting video and I always am failing this time, but I, I didn't get an actual shot of the aisle and I really want you guys to see this stuff in case you're interested in it. Anyways, it's a cauldron mug that's pretty self-explanatory and it says boo on it, which is kind of cute. I just love any kind of cauldron mug. I have a cauldron mug from Killstar that's just plain. And then this is the other one that I have and I love it. Any kind of cauldron mug, I'm not above it. Okay, that rhymed. Was it, what did I just say? Something about love it? I don't remember what I said, but I love it. If it's cauldron mug, I'm not above it. Mm. That's my motto for the day. Then the other thing was like a cookie jar. And it was a huge cauldron cookie jar. They had three of them there. But the girl was texting all of her friends because I like when I was like, hey, these are so cute. Like, do you, are you taking all these? Or can I, because I know with Ray Dunn, people go in and they just like wipe out the aisles. And she's like, I know, aren't they cute? My friends are freaking out right now. And I was like, oh, what are you grabbing? Like, whatever. Just to be respectful. Because I'm not trying to be like Walmart during Black Friday where I'm like fighting people over stuff, but I'm also, once again, not above it. No, I'm just kidding. Um, I just like trying to be respectful. And she's like, and keep a distance, you know? And so she told me what she was getting and then I grabbed one of these cookie jars and it's like a big cauldron with a cauldron lid and it says trick or treat on the front. Then I went down the little aisle where it has all the dish towels. They didn't have a lot of Halloween dish towels, uh, but they did have some Nightmare Before Christmas dish towels that were so cute. They're black and white. So perfect if you love a black and white aesthetic. It had all the different characters on it and they look like sketches. So cute. Loved those. And then they had the matching aprons. Then they also had some like a Mickey Mouse uh, dressed as a witch or a vampire or something. Um, and like a bunch of little Disney ones. And the aprons were so cute. You know, you know, I had to get one. Then I saw another little section that had some of the little dish, little canisters, the little small ones. One is a ghost, and what was the other one? A pumpkin guy? Oh, then in the pillow section, I saw a bunch of, the only Halloween pillows I saw were the Ray Dunn ones. Well, there were a couple other, like a skeleton one. One was like a wedding skeleton bridal thing, and the other one was like a skeleton with, I don't even know what he was doing. Then they had a whole area of Ray Dunn pillows like we saw at... Home Goods the other day. There was one that said trick or treat and it had a jack-o'-lantern on the front. And uh, there was a big, a long one that said happy Halloween on it. Anyways, I'm a spirit Halloween. So I'm gonna run in here really quick cause I've been sitting in the parking lot by myself for like five minutes. A lonely flip flop. <laughs> Just left spirit Halloween. And I was in there for a long time. Like how long was I actually in there? I don't even know. It felt so good to go in there. If you have a local spirit Halloween, there's no one there during the day. There's literally like, I'm not even joking you, one other car in this parking lot. There was no one else in there except for employees. And if you get there early, like before people start getting really excited about Halloween, which I'm always excited about Halloween, but you know what I mean? You, there's like no one ever there. So that's the good news. So if you're worried about that kind of thing, I think Spirit Halloween is like a good place to be. Plus this year with their animatronics, they did a really good job of kind of like separating them and you step on the things to get them to go. So you don't really have to like touch anything. I did get some things and I'm really excited about it because I got these skeletons. Let me just show you real quick. These neon skeletons. Because once upon a time, I had a skeleton in my old car that I hung from my rear view mirror. I gotta get a string to hang him from because I just realized like poke some holes in his head and make it work. I don't know, but I'm really excited about my crazy looking skeletons. Um, anyways, let's talk about what was in there. 
as we drive to where are we going next let's go to the other home goods really quick and maybe we'll run into michael's really quick and see if they have anything set up i'm thinking they're not but you don't you never know anyway so what was i just gonna talk about let's put some more hand sanitizer on shall we i really want i there's got to be a taco bell around here i'm going today i'm determined to get a baja blast once and for all okay so i went in there first thing i saw when i walked in there were these like huge animatronics there was a clown and then a pig in a butcher suit with a knife and and then it was like this like tiki hut with like all of these scary animatronics which like made it even better that it was kind of like a tiki hut so you like walk up and you're like oh this is a little tiki hut and then like you see this like girl that jumps out at you so i'll go ahead and play the first two that i saw right when i walked in this big old scary clown with a bloody face we'll just start there <laughs> <laughs> and then there was the butcher pig that is I mean there's no better way to describe it. <laughs> so then they also had this oh jack in the box which just no that's a no for me. That jack-in-the-box kept going off even when I didn't step on it and so it just kept surprising me or just scaring the crap out of me and there was Sam I couldn't get Sam to work I don't know what was going on from trick-or-treat and then there was the I can't remember I'll, I'll show the other ones but I can't remember they're not standing out to me or maybe it was like a kid on a swing or something I've been waiting for you to come out and play what took you so long <laughs> Anyway, so then on the other side, they had two clowns that just, one of them was, I mean, they're both pretty scary. One of them kind of looked like an old man. Ooh, Halloween is it's so funny. funny. I can't bear to watch Somebody scary things. Somebody who did that so. I'm such a sensitive soul. <laughs> <laughs> Perhaps you will come closer and keep a one of them just like kept jabbing his jaws. He talks a whole lot, so he's worth the money. If you like one that's like really animated, he just doesn't stop. It's the peekaboo. Hide and seek. One, two, two and a half. Ready or not, here I come. There's nowhere to hide on Halloween night. We are all out to get you. <laughs> Then they had the girl again that jumps out of her seat that scared me to death last year. No way. And then uh, that was all in like the tiki area. And then like throughout the store they had other things like lots of little kids. Can you keep a secret? And then they had this older woman that was ill or throwing up blood or possessed. I'm not sure what was going on with her, but she was in a, maybe she was like a zombie woman? I don't know. She did not feel well. But her whole mood was basically how I feel about summer. I really love the animatronics. It's always a good time. And then, uh, what else did I see? Lots of decorations. They had a lot of similar um, lines as last year. They kept some of the, the things that really did well, I think, last year that kind of sold out pretty quick and then added to the lines. So they did the Gothic Noir line again, which they had the really pretty red tablecloths again. Some of the ones in there, like some of the decor in there, not my favorite, but they did have a really pretty white stemless wine glass. It was like red with these black roses or black, I don't know. It was just really, really, really pretty stemless wine glass. And then they had the tarot line again, which I really am into. And they had some gorgeous tapestries and tablecloths and mantle cloths, <laughs> mantle scarves. Um, placemats with fringe on it. I mean, maybe that was the witch line, but regardless, they had and they had this really pretty blue, like theme this year. And the, uh, the whole line, maybe that wasn't the tarot line this year. That was the mystical line or something like that. I don't know. Can't remember what it's called. 
but um, it has a lot of blues and moons and things like that. And there was like a crystal ball. Oh, they had a tarot card box. Like this really pretty ornate box where you can store your tarot cards, which was really cool in my opinion. Um, they also had some of the Ouija stuff again this year. Just a little end cap. I didn't see a whole big thing, but they did have a really cute, uh, a really cute planchette pillow that I thought was cute. And um, a candle and some little dishware things. And they had some drawer knobs, which were really interesting. Just like knobs that you put on your drawers. What else did they have? Um, they had some Harry Potter stuff. They had a really cute headless horseman. Uh, snow globe. Then they also had the Nightmare Before Christmas line again this year and had some really cute stuff in there. Uh, some mugs and cups and water bottles and just like cute little statues, blankets. They had this really cool thing in the Nightmare Before Christmas area where it was this countdown to Halloween. You can flip the little cube thing or it's like more of like a rectangle thing but whatever and then you say how many days until easter christmas whatever how, how or you can just keep it on halloween all year round and then it says like how many days so you can like change it it's really cute oh also they had beetlejuice this year i almost forgot about that um and i'd seen some of the things online but in person the stuff's even cuter they had little signs that said different things like it's showtime and stuff like that they had a little rug they have these really cute little candle stick holders with the worm that's wrapping up it. It's actually way cuter in person than it is online, by the way. Wanted to throw that out there. They had a fleece blanket. It looked like they were still putting out some Beetlejuice stuff, though. I won't lie. Then they had, once again, the Hocus Pocus line, which was totally set up. They had a bunch of wall decor, like signs, things like that, tombstone in there once again they had mugs really cute mugs that said all the different you know beautiful morning or oh, what a glorious morning makes me sick or whatever the quote is and then just the different mugs and water bottles and all that kind of stuff statues snow globes all the things blankets really cute stuff every year for the hocus pocus line then they had the horror movie lines again, the trick or treat line, which was really cute. The Sam statue that lights up is so cute. It's Sam sitting on a pumpkin and it lights up, so cute. And then they had Chucky. They had a Chucky and a Bride of Chucky this year that was really cute. Um, and some Chucky things. They had Michael Myers or Halloween things. And I, the Michael Myers stuff is actually like pretty cute. They had this kind of cool sign, then uh, a fleece blanket, and which I really liked the Halloween fleece blanket. Then they also had this pillow that said Slay on it, and then it has a picture of Michael Myers on it, which I thought was kind of funny. Then they had a whole, you know, Nightmare on Elm Street, Freddy Krueger kind of section where they had, once again, the, the path lights that are Freddy Krueger heads. And I think they also had the uh, Jason Voorhees heads as well. Um, and then they had lights, so they had a lot of that, like, kind of classic horror. Also a little, like, boneyard, <laughs> like, where just, like, a bunch of bones and skeletons and all the things. Um, also, I have an order that I placed with Spirit Halloween, so I can do a proper review on some of the stuff that um, I either didn't see there or they were boxed up or bagged up and all that kind of stuff. But just to get in the Halloween spirit no pun intended it is the place to go it's like next to at home it's the place i've seen the most halloween so far anyway we're at home goods i almost said at home we're at home goods we're getting a good prime parking spot today went to home goods it wasn't like i'm still not seeing a ton of spooky mugs yet so but i did see a lot of gnomes today in there lots of gnomes stuffed gnomes uh i saw a little ceramic gnome cookie jar thing maybe or no that was a wizard oh this is trying to go to Taco Bell, but it, 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 it's so busy. It's all right. I'll sit here and we'll chat. Cute little garland I saw that looked like these like little plush garland thing that looked like a vintage style. That was kind of cool. Um, saw a cool looking cauldron thing that said trick or treat on it. It has black on the outside and gold on the inside. Um, saw a Medusa head statue which i really wanted i saw a picture of it but it's actually not a statue like stone or plaster even it's like an animatronic but i was hoping she was a statue and i could paint her black saw a couple of blankets 
Um, one of them had gnomes on it, and the other one I think just said boo or something. Then the main area that had all the stuff, like a lot of Halloween stuff, had a lot of ceramic stuff. So cookie jars, bowls, like candy bowls. Um, what else did I see? Um, yeah, lots of candy bowls and cookie jars mainly. Um, there was a cute one that had like a witch on it. That was like a little house, like ceramic houses. They had those two out there. Uh, but yeah, just like lots of cute little spooky things. Nothing that quite caught my eye yet. I'm looking for those dang spooky mugs. Mr. Skeleton. So excited, Mr. Skeleton, for this Baja Blast. I've been waiting. All right, so then I went to Michael's and didn't see anything. They didn't have anything out. I will say this, and I don't want to have to deliver this news, you guys. <sighs> they had Christmas ribbon. Like, not one sign of Halloween, except for, you know, Spooky Town. But, like, I'm talking, like, Halloween decorations. But they have Christmas ribbon. Michael, why are you doing this to us? All right, so I still gotta run into Target really quick. I was gonna check out the dollar spot really quick and I was gonna check out to see if they have any candy really quick and then, of course, check to see if they have Halloween out, which I doubt it. <gasps> oh God, this is gonna be so good. I've been waiting for weeks for this because we just have never gotten around to it. It's like my eyes are watering and my whole insides just like light up with that carbonation that's what makes the baja blast carbonation cheers ghouls and goblins and everyone in between oh god oh it's like goes in the nostrils excuse me sorry just trying to drink my baja blast and drive i'm gonna run into target really quick but one more drink Every time I complain about uh, how hot it is, I kind of want to just show the clip of that lady at Spirit Halloween. Oh, come on. Tell you what, when it's hot like this, oh, I'm sorry. I just had a random emotion that came over me that the movies, like I miss the movies so much. Do you just like get waves of random things that you miss since COVID's been going on? Anyway, so I don't even know what I was talking about. Target, not one, not one sign of Halloween at Target. Nothing in the dollar spot. It's looking pretty bare in the dollar spot, so that's making me hopeful, but nothing. I gotta go to Hy-Vee now because, oh, by the way, what Hy-Vee is, is it's like a Midwest grocery store. I don't think everyone has Hy-Vee, but I think it started in Iowa, which my uh, fun fact, since I'm Chatty Cathy today, um, my dad's from Iowa. My grandparents were born and bred there, and they lived in this little town called Eldon, and what's a fun fact about Eldon, Iowa, that's where the American Gothic house is. So if you know the American Gothic painting with the farmer with the pitchfork and the woman standing in front of the house, that house is literally just a couple blocks from my grandparents' house where they used to live and where I grew up going. And so um, we just used to like go and like roam that little tiny town and uh, since I was a city kid, I loved roaming that little small town area. Anyways, I thought that was just a little fun fact since you guys seem to like, I thought some of you didn't like the chatty parts, but apparently y'all do. Okay, we're going to the Hy-Vee to see if they have, oh, by the way, I saw there's pumpkin spice Cheerios out this year and they're gluten-free. Yes! I want some. The Baja Blast is really getting to me, clearly. All right, just got out of Hy-Vee and I didn't see anything in the park. And we're gonna online stock. So I am not letting this go. I will find Reese's pumpkins. So, all right, so my camera's running out of batteries, but I found some Reese's pumpkins. They are way out. Oh, uh, lipstick, they're way out. Out by my mom's. For the sake of love and nine years of marriage, I'm driving all the way out to 5 millionth street to go get some Reese's pumpkins. All right, hey everyone, I am back home, but I wanted to show you guys these Ray Dunn pieces really quick that I got. Um, this cauldron cookie jar, first of all, is huge. In the store, you know, when the shelves are so big and everything's so big, it never looks as big. Having it in my kitchen, it looks huge in comparison to my Jonathan Adler. Um, canisters but I'm not mad at it so the thing I really like about this is if the trick-or-treat thing isn't your style you can turn it around let me do it you 
if you turn it around and it's just a regular old looking cauldron. And then here's the cauldron mug, which is so cute. And the mug was $5.99 and I believe this big old cauldron was 20 bucks. Also, I wanted to show you what I found at Walmart. First of all, there wasn't one Halloween thing at Walmart. It was all school supplies, but they did have these. They were unloading it. These Halloween, or these Reese's pumpkins. So I got two of them and I'm gonna put them on my husband's nightstand tonight. So when he comes home, we'll see these on his nightstand. I just wanna take off this makeup and take a long nap until tomorrow. <laughs> But we may go out tomorrow morning, like, er I say this every time, early. And also, I really wanted to get a video up. I have a spooky soundscape ready for the level two spooky family membership people. So I'm wanting to, I'm gonna do a little like visual thing with the music. So I was gonna try to get that edited this weekend and up. Anyway, I'll talk to you guys tomorrow. All right, another day, another messy bun. Here we go. All right, Mr. Skeleton, let's do this. Oh, my flowers look pretty out front. You gotta compliment yourself sometimes in life. What are we doing today? We're Halloween decor. Oh Lord, I forgot my allergy pill. Oh well, I'm only going to one place, so this won't be too bad. Um, right now, I'm just running to Home Goods because we haven't gone to that one in a couple days. That being said, they should have more in stock or we can maybe see a little bit more Halloween. I'm really looking for some spooky mugs. And with Home Goods, it's one of those things that you have to check in. If you wanna get the good spooky mugs, you gotta check in like throughout the week because they put stuff out all the time. We've gone every day this week, every single day. Here comes Speed Racer. Anyway, so we're going to Home Goods. We're gonna go see what they have. I hope they have some spooky mugs. And I don't know, what is, dude, I can't deal with the bugs. I think it was like the same area last time where I saw that bug from hell, but I think it's back. <laughs> it's probably not the same one, but you know what I mean. They're like cicada killers. If you know them, you know. They're like this long and look like a freaking wasp. And they're not supposed to sting. And they're not supposed to, they just annoy you. Like they are, like they're trying to protect their queen. So they like kind of chase you around or like dive bomb you. No. That's just like a big no for me. Actually, you know what? Scratch that. If you don't know what a cicada killer is, just Google it right now. And then let me know in the comments how you feel about it. But they're not supposed to sting you, but I don't trust anything anyone tells me because when I was a kid, my dad told me that if I stay still, if a bee or wasp comes near me, they won't bother me. So I was like, okay, dad, I totally trust you. So when a hornet, landed on my knee when I was a kid and I think I've told this story before maybe not but you know what I'm gonna I'm gonna tell it again because I'm that traumatized about it <laughs> okay I was sitting I had this I don't know what it was like a tricycle my cousin was in town and I think he borrowed my bike and my brother and my cousin were riding bikes and they were like kind of looping around and so I was watching them ride bikes and this hornet lands on my knee and I'm like oh my dad said that if I stay really still, that it won't even sting me. And then I watch as this thing sticks its stinger in my leg, or my knee, you know, and it was so painful and horrifying. And anyone that had ever told me, hey, just stay still, or hey, it doesn't hurt that bad, you can't convince me otherwise. It hurt so bad. And I'm traumatized for life about it. And so now I'm so terrified of wasps and anything that sting. Actually, you know what? I, I'm better about bees now that I know what they do. Like the worker bees, like don't wanna sting you. They just wanna work. Now in my garden, I realize that. They just stick with their flowers. They don't sting me when I'm watering or if I'm near them, they don't do anything. So I'm not actually afraid of bees anymore, but I'm terrified of wasps. Don't come near me if you're a wasp. If, you, if any wasps are out there watching. <laughs> what the, wait. Wait, whoa, 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 what? Dude, it is, I'm not even joking you, 10 a.m. And Home Goods looks like Black Friday. <sighs> All right, let me just tell you, I am so glad we went out today because I saw so much. Okay, first of all, Right now, no joke, right now, it's 87. Feels like 
94. Huh. All right, so we went to Home Goods and they had some stuff out finally at this store. So I saw a bunch of stuff and something that I totally forgot to mention at the last store, which I loved this whole piece. They had uh, those little vintage trees. You know what I'm talking about? The ceramic trees with the little bulbs that come out. And they had some really cute ones there. They had one that was just black and I can't remember, I think maybe it had orange bulbs. Then they had one that was black that had like the multicolor bulbs that you usually see. That They had another one that was a candy corn looking ceramic tree. So I loved that. Uh, but then they also had some, uh, oh, the spider candle things, like the big tall candle things. Those are really cool. I haven't decided if I want them or not. They had the Medusa head that we saw yesterday. Then they did have some stuff in the plateware and like spooky mug section but they were the same spooky mugs that we've seen. So they have one that said beware, one that said boo, um, that we've seen. They had some really cute plates with the skull on it, but they only had four of them. And if I get that, I need six of them for my dining room. But the skull plates are really, really, really cute this year. But yeah, the spooky mugs were kind of the same we've been seeing. I haven't seen any new stuff put out yet in that little area. Uh, they also had a cute little like cookie jar kind of situation or canister looking thing. So then, Next door is Michael's. I was like, you know what? I'm gonna run into Michael's really quick because I, I got the wrong string yesterday. And I was like, okay, I'm just gonna walk around and see if they have anything. And sure enough, that pink and black, or like, I think some people are calling it like the pastel goth style stuff was out, like starting to be put out. I was not expecting to see it. I was so excited when I saw it. I was like, oh my gosh. Cause I'm just really excited to show you guys a little sneak peek of it. They didn't have any of the potion bottles that I'm really interested in that have the big spiders on them. So I didn't see that yet, but they had empty shelving there. So they're still putting stuff out. Um, they did have just different skulls. Like they had the, these two skulls that were stacked on top of each other. I don't know, are they wearing crowns? They're wearing something. Um, and then they had a couple really cute pictures like, or like wall decor. Uh, want like skeleton wall decor. One of them has like a skeleton portrait with like flowers coming out of the bones, kinda. Then another one was like a full body skeleton. Can't remember what that skeleton was doing. Holding a flower or I don't know. But it was standing and it kinda like had this like vintage look around. The picture was really cool. And then I saw the pillows that I talked about, the striped pillows. And the black and white ones, it is black and very, very, very cream. Dang it, I wish it was black and white um, because they were really cool and they had like little tassels on the edges. Then they had some other cute framed things. I don't know if they were wall decor, a little like tabletop decor, but a lot of baby pinks and blushes and like florally. It was very like shabby chic meets gothic in my opinion. I think they had like a pink unicorn skull head and then just different skull pieces that were some were blush and then there was one I think that was either like silver or white or maybe it was a combination of the two but I mean it was really 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 pretty and really romantic looking. Oh also walk down the aisle where there's a bunch of floral and they had these, they had some really cool wreaths, like just like different, like spooky, more like Halloween specific. Well, one was like a pirate, skeleton pirate looking situation. Then the others were kind of more like Halloween. They were either bla uh, black and orange or they were like purple and green and like monstery looking, you know what I mean? Actually, there was one that was kind of cool that had like, what was it, like black flowers with like skulls that were maybe green and mossy looking maybe. They also had one that looked a lot like the witch one from Grandin Road where it's like a half moon, half witch looking. But then they had this whole thing with these like bouquets of Venus fly traps and they are so cool looking this year. So there are some that look a lot like the Target ones. They had these other ones that are these huge standing potted uh, Venus fly traps. They're the coolest looking things I've ever seen. They're $199. Anyways, I'm all excited that I saw stuff at Michael's because I was not expecting to see one freaking thing at Michael's. I'm not gonna lie. So I've been going out a lot and maybe going to the same places that you guys might be. I hope you guys aren't too tired of me going to the same places, but this is why I do it. This validates it for me, you know. 
just like revisiting the places. You never know when they're gonna start putting stuff out. So I'm just so excited that Michael's is starting. All right, hey everyone, I'm home. Sorry, I got cut off because my camera overheated. But anyways, I'm really excited. People seem to be killing it this Halloween. I was a little worried that, um, People weren't going to be putting out a lot of stuff or they weren't going to get into it as much. So, um, yes, it's slower than usual coming out, I've noticed, but it's still not disappointing. Um, all right, so I'm going to get off here so I can start editing this weekend. Also, um, if you're a member, I've been posting sneak peeks over on the community tab uh, of little things I'm finding along the way. Anyways, if you want to join the Spooky Family membership, that's down in the uh like next to the subscribe button you have to be signed in in order to join i'll also have a link to join the membership so if you don't see the button i'll have the link down in the description box as well just to make it easier i'm gonna be sharing exclusive things to members all season long and if not nothing's gonna change no worries you'll still see all the halloween decor hunting stuff hope you guys enjoyed this video uh thank you so much for halloween decor hunting with me I'm having the most fun, so I hope you're loving it as well. Um, also, per usual, down in the comments, if you wanna let me know what you've been finding out there, any amazing pieces you've come across, or any stores you saw putting stuff out. Anyways, thank you so much for watching, and I will see you guys next time.